This is a powder derived from the mealworm and it's a insect protein just been approved by the EU for human consumption. You're not just getting me to eat dirt, are you? <laughs> is bug eating good tasty stuff or can they harm us? Reptiles, birds and frogs love them. Occasionally, unlucky humans have been forced to eat them out of desperation. Sometimes this becomes part of the culture. In this video, I'll cover the pros and cons of bug eating, where it's already happening, what you can expect to be eating, along with some neat recipe ideas. Currently around 2 billion people consume insects on a regular basis. This typically occurs in developing countries where food security is uncertain. Places like the Congo, Zambia, other parts of Africa, and also parts of rural Asia rely on bugs as their sustenance. If you listen to some celebrities, they're the bee's knees of the culinary world, both figuratively and literally. Oh, nothing. Huh. More on this later in the video. We are now seeing some of this start to creep into the Western diet. Crickets, grasshopper grubs, even cockroaches are finding their way onto the menu. But are there any downsides to this bountiful bug buffet? Several studies have shown that farmed insects can carry a very high load of pathogens and parasites. This one study showed that 80% of sampled insects contain pathogens, 30% of which were human-specific pathogens, things like Vibrio, Streptococcus, Pseudomonas, and even E. coli. Insects have been shown to contain, in some instances, high levels of heavy metals. One of those is cadmium, which can cause kidney disease, fragile bones, and even cancer. Another is arsenic, which can cause diabetes, cancer, skin disorders, and even cognitive developmental problems in children. Lead, which may lead to anemia, weakness, kidney and brain damage. Mercury, the chronic exposure of which can lead to liver, kidney, immune system, and nervous system damage. Bugs can also contain high levels of anti-nutrients, including things like tannins, which can cause stomach irritation, nausea, vomiting, and even liver damage. Hydrocyanide found also in insects can cause neurological issues, cardiorespiratory problems, even thyroid disorders. Bugs can also contain high levels of oxalates, which can lead to things like kidney stone and many other problems. Many people with shellfish allergies can have severe cross reactivities with insect proteins, sometimes leading to life-threatening anaphylactic reactions. Bugs can also concentrate high levels of pesticides that they may be exposed to, either through food or otherwise, to include things like chlorinated organophosphates. Humans lack a good capacity to break down chitin, so it can lead to things like inflammation, immune reactions to include asthma-like conditions. Mycotoxins found in insects can lead to things like mold-produced aflatoxins, which have been implicated in the form of cancer. In fact, many tropical countries see a direct correlation between aflatoxin exposure and insect eating. The unpredictable nutrient bioavailability and shelf life of insects can be a real problem. For example, grasshoppers may only last one or two days. This could lead to the very real possibility that you may be exposed to spoiled insects. Yum. <laughs> Regulation inside of bug farming is still very new. There are many questions around the treatment, the disinfecting, processing, the import and the export of these edible insects that still remain to be answered. Some might have concerns that these insects are just another way to have cheap ingredients for highly processed, highly profitable junk food. There are very few, if any, studies on the long-term implications of human consumption of bug eating. Cancers, autoimmune disease, gut issues, mental health issues have not been looked at. We have no idea if this could cause that. Perhaps one day when people start growing antennas out of their head, somebody will start asking questions. Despite all these negatives, why is bug eating being pushed? A common narrative is to voluntarily transition away from animal agriculture and replace that with a diversified source of proteins, things like fake meat, lab-grown meat, fungi, and now even bugs. Bugs can be a rich source of protein with termites coming in at around 31% and crickets being as high as 61% protein. They are relatively cheap to farm compared to pigs, cows, and chickens. One study estimates that the water footprint of crickets is up to 50% less than that of chickens. They are a source of fat, which is primarily polyunsaturated fats. Their crunchy exoskeleton is made of chitin, which some people theorize can have a fiber-like benefit Benefit to the gut. Bug farming can be a novel source of income which can benefit people that are impoverished living in rural areas. All of this is being discussed in hopes of saving the planet from climate change, which is why we can now look forward to enjoying things like maggot butter in Belgium, where they are now replacing regular butter with this in things like baked goods, pastries, cookies, and cakes. I'm sure Iron Man is going to love
love this. That's an insect-based premium protein. It's made from Molitor, which is mealworm larvae. If this is protein, it's essentially tasteless. It's just a protein supplement. Exactly. I can put and this I'm, in a smoothie or something? I'm telling you, yep. And they'll be making all kinds of stuff out of it. Cockroach milk is apparently very high in nutrients, according to scientists. Although cockroaches are notoriously difficult to milk, actually they just squish their lifeless bodies until a milk-like goo comes out. Canada is opening the world's largest cricket farm. This apparently will be able to produce 13 million kilograms of cricket meat every single year. This is courtesy of an $8.5 million grant from their Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Nicole Kidman is definitely gonna love that. Livestock, corn worms, they're still alive. Mmm, extraordinary. Very moist, chewy. Can't quite describe the flavor, but <sighs> some mealworms. That is a um, fruity taste. Crickets. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, awesome. Like a hairy nut. <laughs> Don't. For dessert, mm. fried grasshopper. These are amazing. These are exquisite. Grasshoppers. I recommend them. <laughs> Australia is now rolling out bug based, neat to eat treats for kids in over a thousand schools. And in China, they are using insect feces to make a sort of bug poop tea. So if any of this sounds tasty to you and you're not bothered by any of the concerns we talked about, then perhaps you're going to love our crunchy cricket cutlets with a spicy tamarind sauce. Bon appetit or not, I think I'm going to pass on this one.